Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I hope you have with you your SMKA trial paper that I gave you before the listening test. I will discuss with you the exam, the trial paper of SMKA that I gave you before the listening test. And we start with paper one, which is reading. For SPM English 3.19 paper for this year, you are having four papers and congratulations, you have done two papers already, speaking and listening. I might say you've done your best throughout the two papers. Okay, so one is paper one, with, which is for one hour and 30 minutes or 90 minutes. For this paper, it's five parts, 40 questions, one mark for each questions, right? And it will be converted into 25%. So all the four papers will carry 25% each times by four equal to 100%. So 50% of the paper, the marks are already there. Okay, because you have done your speaking and listening test. Okay. So now, okay. For part one, it's a short text. Three option multiple choice questions, A, B, or C. Okay, you will see dialogue, vouchers, uh, as, the, as the stimulus, which are counted as a, an authentic materials like uh, besides dialogue you will have advertisement ticket ticket to the a concert bus ticket plane tickets or anything promotion newspaper report job vacancy okay and dialogue the dialogue could come in a comic strip or just a simple dialogue lah. right so for part one three option multiple choice questions um or short text has eight questions where you have to identify detail, main idea, or gist. Main, so when you read the stimulus, for example, a ticket, you need to identify details from the ticket okay, and the main idea from what you've read. Okay, and the question sometimes will ask you on what are the writer's purpose, okay, of writing the article or the tickets, can. And what are the writer's attitude sometimes, what they feel, okay? And sometimes they will ask you questions on meaning of words where you need to replace certain, uh, certain words with another, with another word from the options given. Okay. Okay, for, for part one, there are eight questions, question one to eight. So as you can see, you need to read the questions, right? Read the text carefully in each question. Choose the best answer A, B or C for each question. Mark the correct answer A, B or C on your answer sheet. As I like, highlighted here, you need to use 2B pencil, okay? Just like in your listening test the other day, okay? You need to have a good 2B pencil. You need to have backups. Don't bring just one. You need to have a few, like maybe at least two because you never know what will happen to the other so you can use the other one can okay you will have an answer sheet given to you just like your listening okay so this paper one and then you have to underline what okay you read what do you read you read the stimulus here it's a form it's a parking form complete and place in lower hand corner of your windscreen, uh, the car registration number and the date. What do you have to do? Okay, so the question asks you, what do you have to do? Right, so is it A, B or C? Register your car here by filling in. Is it registering? Is it putting this form in your car windscreen after filling it in? Or place the computed form in the box provided? So here you need to do elimination, right? Elimination. You need to think and then eliminate. Eliminate the wrong answers. I believe A, 
is wrong. Is it B or C, dear? Anybody can respond because I can't read the chat here. Somebody answered C or B. Okay, the answer is actually B, my dear. Okay. So, elimination need to be done here. You, there is no box provided, so wrong there. Question two. Mm, what does the notice say? Allow at least two hours for your visit to the castle. What is the ans your answer? Can you? I cannot read your your name, your chat. Rather busy here. Okay. Two, B B B B. All right. Is it B? Anybody want to argue that? Is it B? The answer is A. Yes. Okay, Janatu. The answer is A actually. Two hours is the minimum time recommended for a visit to the castle. As I said earlier, it's, it's going to be tricky, this reading paper. If you answer B, visitors are only allowed to spend two hours inside the ca castle. At least two hours. Meaning you can exit to two hours. Can? Ah, okay. Mm, for B, only allowed to spend two hours to max. No, it's not that. Uh, it's minimum of two hours. You can exceed to two and a half or three hours. Okay, okay so B is wrong. Again, each two of the castle lasts less than two hours. No, that's wrong also. Now, question three now. What does it say? Important, the school is not responsible for anyone using this equipment without the teacher's permission. What is your answer? Is it A? C. Okay. C. Why not A? The document does not belong to the school, so you can't use it. Okay. Elimination again. Teachers are the only people allowed to use the equipment. No. Okay. No, you can use it, but with the teacher's permission. Okay. So, C is the best answer. You must... Ask the teacher first before you use the equipment. Permission. What it means by permission? Asking uh, the teacher first for uh, approval to use the equipment. Okay, well done. Not bad. Okay. So as you, as we go along the questions, uh, you can mark your answers. All right. For number four, what does this notice mean? Okay, read the text first. Read, remember, uh, under 18's volleyball team meet the sports centre at 8 Sunday for your final training session. Bus will collect you at 9 and leave straight away. Colin, head coach, what does this notice mean? So, for A, the match starts at 9, is it? No, right? Uh, it doesn't mention there. So, you must meet the bus at 8. Okay, no, you meet the meet at eight, but the bus will only collect you at nine. So elimination is done here. A is wrong. So the answer is anyone? B. Uh, okay, correct. B. After training, it is important the team bus leaves no later than nine. Meaning they will collect you at nine sharp and leave straight away. So the bus must leave no later than 9. How about C? The bus will take the team to the sports centre for training at 8. Definitely not. Right? Not the answer. At 8, everybody need to meet meet up at the sports centre at 8 only. Okay. So, B is answer. Correct. Well done. Okay. We go to question 5. Again, read, underline, think and eliminate. Read the... Uh, the Advertisement here or the notice here. Okay, the notice says uh, drinks may not be taken into the theater. So what does this mean? Okay, pemaksud dia. Okay, kejap. Hmm. Okay, so you need to do to read the question and the options given. You should finish your drink before entering. You can buy a drink after the show. You cannot buy a drink inside the theater. So elimination, which answers are wrong and which is correct? Okay, anyone? Which is A teacher. 
Uh, okay, good. Well done. A is the answer because B and C is wrong. Okay, you cannot buy the drink after the show. What it meant here, you need to finish your drink before you enter the theater. What is a theater? Okay, theater would be a cinema, okay, where you watch movies, and it could also be a place where you watch a play, okay? All right. Okay, we go to the next question. Again, read, underline, think, and eliminate. Okay, read, dear Rudy Tan, it's wonderful to hear that you decided to follow your heart finally. Your parents wanted you to work as an accountant and your brother wanted you to follow his footstep to, and be a doctor. Amazingly, you have decided to serve friends of the Rainforest Organization after qualifying as a top student of the law. What can I say but best of luck? The main point of the message above is Rudy Tan, is it A, mm. B? Uh, I heard C just now. This yes, is teacher, now. C. Is it C? Rudy Tan works as a lawyer after qualifying as the top, top student. This is question number six. One. Okay, uh, different answer. Anybody wants to give different yeah, answer? The answer is B. Answer is B. Yes, actually, it's B. C is not. Thank you for pointing out. C is not the answer. B is the answer. Okay, works as a lawyer after qualifying as a stock student. It's not mentioned here, right? Uh, accountant. I just wanted him to uh, become an accountant. Okay, but instead. Hmm. Amazingly, you have decided, so A and C is wrong, but at the moment, Rudy Tan is working for a rainforest organization, so it's B. Okay, and then we have question 7 and 8, where you need to read, underline and think again, think and eliminate. Okay, so for this text, Growing orchids is more difficult than growing normal house plants. Purchase your orchids from a good nursery and make sure that the leaves on the plant are healthy and green. It needs filtered sunlight and light fertilizing. Remember that poor growing conditions would inhabit flowering. Okay. I hope you understand what it means. It, it's trying to tell us how to grow an orchid, okay? Okay, for question seven, the best title for the above text is, uh, so you have to try to uh, figure out one title best for this. Is it planting flowers, growing orchids or buying orchids? Anyone? Growing orchids. Uh, definitely. Okay, good. Well done because you're not planting flowers too general. You are actually, we are talking about orchids and the word growing is there. Okay, we are not buying orchids but growing them. So B is the answer. Well done. Okay, number eight. The writer's aim in writing the above text is to advise people how to grow, persuade people to plant flowers or convince people to grow plants? Anyone? Number eight. Answer is A. Okay. I I think I can guess who's talking. Janatu, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, advise people who how to grow orchids. Again, Growing orchids, right? Grow orchids. It's not planting flowers. It's not growing plants only. Okay, it's specifically orchids. Okay, so there you you need you've done elimination of B and C. So A is the answer. So to recall for part one, remember these um, tips: R U T E. Read, underline, think, and eliminate. So 
what we did just now, we read the question, we read the text, we underline the keywords, and then we think for the answer and eliminate okay, the wrong answer and you get the correct answer. Okay, now, well done. We go to uh, part two, choice close. Okay. If you still remember, choice close is where you fill in the gaps. Okay with four option multiple choice okay now next okay in this choice close you will have you'll be tested on grammar two or three questions that we ask they might ask you on prepositions on or linkers okay and there'll be four to five questions of vocabulary which means word choice word choice which word choice is suitable to fill in the gap Okay, and then collocation of phrasal verbs, two or three questions. All right. So you need to, the tips here, you need to guess the best word to complete the text. Use contextual clues. Okay. You need to read between the lines. Okay, try to guess the best word. Okay, and then uh, language collocation, word choice and situation. Okay, word, okay, some words... For example, phrasal verb, right? Uh, take up, read up, search for, look for, look at. Okay? They have different meanings. For example, look for, look at. Although it's look, but it's a different meaning altogether. Look for is where you search for something. Look at means you just look at something. Okay. So, maybe they will ask you to match which uh, prepositions that could fit into the phrasal verbs. All right. Okay, so next slide. We are at part two. As again, use to be pencil. Okay, remember to have and bring your to be pencil, everyone. Okay, for question nine to eight, you have four options, A, B, or C, or D. Okay, read the text below and choose the best word for each space, for each question. Mark the correct letter A, B, or C, or D on your answer sheet using to be pencil. Okay, for this question now, for, num uh, zero, for number zero is, a, is an example for you. This is how you do it. Okay, for number nine, a scent or a perfume usually consists of an alcoholic solution containing what is known. Is it so? Is it as? Is it like? Or is it instance? Any guess? Which is the verb? Um, as. Okay, good. As is the answer. You're right. Again, uh, you can still use elimination here, right? When you put in, you try out everything. If you put in so, it's not suitable. Like, nah, no. Instance, also no. Okay, so S is the best answer. Okay, well done. Okay, thank you for joining. So, let us go to question 10, 11 and 12. Okay, uh, the text is about essential oil and, and they are using present tense as you can see here are, okay. Chemicals are used, they are also used, okay. Let us figure out the answer for 10. The essential oils are collected. Collected. Uh, collected. Number 10 is C. Well done. Okay. Are collected in variety of ways. Okay. This is a passive sentence. Are collected. Okay. Uh, the aroma of oranges and other citrus fruits. Okay. Was, are, were, or is? I think it's B. 11. The aroma of oranges. Uh, is the is this sentence referring to the aroma or the oranges and other citrus fruit? Think again. 
the subject Aroma. here. Ah, yes. You need to know Aroma. that the subject here is okay. Aroma. So is the answer is D. Is because aroma just one. Uh, it's not was, it's not past tense, it's not are, it's not plural, and also not were. Okay, so is because aroma is one, it's singular. Okay, that a good try. More people are coming in. Thank you. Okay, we are at part two, question 11. Now we go to question 12. Sometimes for reasons of expense, synthetic chemicals are used. Okay, is it instead? Okay. Okay, thank you for giving the answer. Yes, A. Correct, well done. Instead. Again, elim elimination can be done here. This part is wrong, this part is not suitable, besides it's also not suitable, number 12 is A. Okay, well done. Okay, we are now at 12 and we go to question 13. For question 13, chemicals called fixatives are added. Fixatives are added. Is it on, to, in or over? Number 13. Two. Okay. Number 13 is B. Two. Yes, you're right. Okay, well done. Okay, and then we have number 14. Okay, uh, here, as, sorry, number 13 just now. I think you notice it's prepositions on, to, in, or over. So choose the best preposition. Uh, added to the essential or to hold them together. This fixative prevent them from disappearing into the atmosphere too quickly. Alcohol is then added and the exact kind of perfume which is produced. Okay, dependent, depending, depends or depend. Which one? Depends. Use de number 14. C. Um, yes. Uh, yes. C. Well done. Depends. Because again, it refers to um, the perfume. The exact kind of perfume which is produced depends. So it's singular uh, subject there. So you use depends. You add S to the verb. Okay, well done. Okay, number 15. Quantity on the okay, good try. Is it quantity? The amount D D is the best answer. Quantity actually, you can count one, two, three, but then because of its alcohol, it's liquid, you can't really count liquid, right? You it's uncountable anyway, so the best would be amount. Amount total is not number also not you cannot count it in number right quantity also is similar to this uh, other words number and total so elimination has to be done here amount is the best answer okay well done good try okay continue colon for example may contain between two and six percent essential oils with while after shave can contain little as half a percent. Contain, or is it S, so, but, or M? The 16. Oh. Yes, S. Okay. Because you can't put so, so, right? You have to do elimination here. It's not suitable. It doesn't sound right, right? So, as little as half a percent. Okay, as little as half a percent. Okay, well done. Okay, now... We're almost nearing to the end of part two, question 17 to 18. Okay, each perfume is made up, is it in, off, on, or about? Okay, this is easy. Prepositions, yeah. Choose the best one. Anyone? In, off, on, or about? Made up? Of. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Made up of three main sorts of smell, the top note, the middle note and the base note. Top note smells include such light aromas as lemon, sage or marjoram are typical of the oils chosen for the middle note. Okay, number 18. 
Sandalwood. Why? Okay, good. Good. Good answer C. Why? Because when is not, then pun not suitable because also not. So why is the best answer? Well done. Okay, now we are going into part three. So part three is reading comprehension where you have to read a longer text. Okay. So here for reading comprehension, you need to read the questions and identify the keywords, always underline them and take note on the WH questions in the question itself. Uh, there are five W and one H. Okay. What is the one H? Anyone? How? Yes, how. Okay. Uh, the five W would be where, when, what, why, who, right? Okay, and then we have one H of how. Okay, no, uh, I think we, uh, I think you noticed this before that the paragraph has no numbering. Has no numbering. Paragraph one, two, uh, two, six, or maybe. So you have to count and write it yourself because you don't want to get confused, right? So. So you need to read and understand the passage and then try and number the paragraphs because the question uh, give clue to which paragraph you should find the answer. Okay, so for and then uh, the question will come in sequence from top to the end of the text. Okay, so your uh, what you need to do is read. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you need to read. Identify keywords, uh, number the paragraphs, and then okay, take note of the WH questions. All right. Okay, so again here, part three, use to be pencil. <laughs> All right. You are going to read advice from a first year student and her dad. For question 19 to 26, choose the correct answer A, B, C, or D and mark the correct letter A, B, or C, or D on your answer sheet. Okay, so they've given you what you're going to read about, some uh, some brief uh, introduction of what you're going to read. You're going to read an advice from a first-year student and her dad. Okay. Okay, I hope you have read the text. Uh, for this revision, I will go straight to the questions and I will focus on the paragraph uh, required. Okay, for number 19, as I said earlier, in the question, they will give you clue on which paragraph you're going to find the answers from. So in paragraph one, the British Home Awards Challenge architects to design a house design a house okay you can find the word design a house here that can adapt to different life stages okay read on the participants were asked to rethink and const rethink the construction and design of individual homes so that they were easily adaptable to less mobile inhabitants and also to create community communities in which aging occupants could continue to enjoy shared am amenities. Amenities. Okay. What is your answer for number nineteen? For is it for disabled people only? No, mm -hmm. right? It's not for just aging inhabitants. Okay. What is your answer? So you have C or D? C. C is the best answer, yes, because you need to eliminate D because D uh, mentioned about young families with children only. No, it's for all ages, okay, that could adapt. Different life or stages, okay. That means uh, C is the best answer, adapt to all ages. Well done. Okay, so as you notice what we did just now, we read, we underline keywords and we do elimination of the wrong answer and choose the best one. Okay, for number 20 in paragraph 1, the word inhabitants. Okay, we, we 
came across this word just now, inhabitants, can be replaced with what? Occupants. Yes, you're right, spot on. Occupants, because it, because foreigner is not, alien is of, of course not, okay, and outsider also not, okay, because inhabitant means people who live in the house or occupants, okay, well done, okay. Again, use elimination technique. Cross the wrong answer, get the correct answer. Okay, in paragraph 2 for question 21, we are reading paragraph 2. Uh, in the winning property, okay, bedrooms are downstairs to, to what? Have more privacy in the living room. Okay, 21 have more privacy okay keep that is it c any different guess in this ended. okay let us read the text the architect to a starting point uh, the accepted norm of a house rows of houses facing onto street crammed with cars with living rooms on the ground floor okay and bedrooms above then they scrap it so they ended up with the living room and dining room and kitchen on the top floor where they can benefit from the light and views and maximize energy uh, efficiency okay uh is it c i think it's d yes uh, it's d the answer is d Okay, if they want privacy, they will put it on, on the top floor. Okay, interesting. Okay, the answer is D, keep the same pleasant atmosphere the whole day. Uh, D, this one. Where they can benefit from the light and views. Right, where they can benefit from the light and views. Okay, and maximize energy efficiency. So they want D, D is the answer, all right? It's not just about view, easy access, no, more privacy, no, so D. Okay, well done. Okay, good guess. It's okay. We learn from our mistakes. Okay, number 21. Done, number 22 now. Okay, number 22. Uh, it's in paragraph 3. The parking spaces in this house design are, okay, what is your answer? Okay, but this feature that according to Warren Rosing, one of the cozy architects responsible for design was particularly popular with the public is actually the parking. In a sunny side up development, no one has to look out onto a street full of cars or worry about their kids being run over because the terrace zone at the first floor level links all the homes and is a car free zone. Vehicles are tucked away on the lower floor okay living safe and pleasant spaces outside the houses for people to meet so lower floor what is your answer can you share your answer with me is it first floor ground floor separate building or in the street number 22 b b yes spot on you're right okay ground floor lower floor okay okay now number 23 still on paragraph 3 just now okay in paragraph 3 we learn that so you need to identify the main idea of the whole text it talks about the parking space okay for people to okay continue reading a lift takes people directly from the garage from to the living area so that all residents including the elderly and those with heavy shopping can move comfortably be between the floors the natural feel of the front area is enhanced by the planters that are placed outside the kitchens at the front to encourage residents to grow vegetables and flowers where they can be seen the idea is that on it's not only would they look pretty but they would be a talking point encouraging interaction between residents on the terrace area okay so we what is the main idea here 23 is it a children can place it outside the house 
the houses overlook a street cannot uh, sorry the houses overlook a street crammed with cars the back garden we're talking about back garden is the main talking point for the inhabitants is it or the house can be transformed into a kindergarten <laughs> so d is not obviously okay anyone can guess is it a b or c talking about back garden course not right so is it a or b a a yes you're right a is the answer children can play safely outside the house okay okay a is the answer all right well done okay this one leaving it safe pleasant and space outside the house for people to meet kids to play this part okay indicates the answer because all the other statements are not actually discussed in the uh, paragraph three okay well done this could be tricky but again it's not possible okay it's not not impossible <laughs> sorry so you can do elimination again just like we did just now Okay, now number 24 and 25 is based on question, paragraph 4. Okay, so in paragraph 4, in the sunny side up house, the ground floor, oh, okay. okay, the ground floor can be rented, can be sold separately, or C or D. Number 24, what's your guess? I think it's A. Okay, the answer is A. Okay, correct. Okay, so let's read the text. But it's the fact that space is designed to adapt to the changing needs, including the fluctuating income of its owner, that makes it a thought-provoking as well as winning design. Okay, the flower, uh, the lower floor bedrooms have separate outdoor access so they can be easily led. The idea is that owners can get some extra money to pay for their mortgages during the first years. Okay. And later in the future, those bedrooms can be used as a granny flat or an office and can be can easily be converted into a separate one bed flat if your kids won't leave home and if more space is required as well. Uh, as the usual loft that can be converted, there is potential for a gallery floor to be inserted in the living room. So it can it can be rented. Mana kat sini kot ni? Easily let can be easily let the word let there. Okay, let to be rented. Okay. This a work and all right. Okay, now now question twenty five. Okay, again this is tricky. Uh, you have to be read carefully, read between the lines. Okay, number twenty five. The house has been designed to be rented to be shared if necessary for families with more income or for the elderly. Okay, number twenty five. What is your answer? Anyone? Is it to be rented, to be shared if necessary? If you notice here mentioned about granny flat, uh, can be used for granny flat, office, can easily be converted into separate one bed, uh, one bed flat. Okay. If you're for kids, okay. B. Okay. B is the answer. Yes, well done. Correct. Good guess. Number 25 is B. It can be shared if necessary. That's why the design is so uh, efficient, so, interest, uh, so interesting. It's flexible. All right. Okay, well done. Okay, now last question, I guess. Okay, where can we... Where can you get one? At the moment, the sunny side up house is still just a set of drawings. Okay, but Warren Rosing says, we are hoping to have it built. The organizers are in talks with builders, but due to the economic climate, it may 
take longer than we would like. We are sure it will be worth the wait, they say. So in paragraph five, the sunny side up development is being built, will never be built, will hopefully be built, or has been recently built. Huh? Which one is that? Is it being built? Thing is C. Ah, okay, correct. Your answer is correct because A is not, because it's not being built, it will it will be built, okay, it's not. So, has not been built yet for number D, has been recently built. It means that it's being built, no. So, C, just a, it's just a set of drawings they, they had, they have yet to start the construction. And the word hoping here, okay, hoping to have it built. So, hopefully to be built. So, it is, it is actually um, useful if you can underline keywords in the in the options given in the question and try to to guess the best answer by by trying uh, by connecting the dots from paragraph uh, five here, right? Okay, we are now at part four, which is gap. Text. Many of you have problems with gap text. Students come to me that they have, uh, they can't really figure out which is the best sentence to fill in the gap. But there are some tips that I want to share with you. Don't worry. Okay, there we have. Gap text is a set of tasks. That could include completion of notes. This is what we normally see. Uh, I'm not sure about diagrams, matching tasks, short answer questions. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, uh, however, there are six sentences have been removed and placed in jumble order after the text. Okay, and then candidates decide from where in the text the sentences have been removed. Okay, and choose the best answer. Let us Look at the sample question here. Okay, in part four, you're going to read an article about plastic waste. So they have, they give you the main uh, idea of what the text is about, plastic waste. Six sentences have been removed from the article. Uh, choose from the sentence A to H, uh, and which fits each gap 27 to 30. 32. There are two extra sentences which you do not need to use. So sometimes you might think that the text is difficult to understand, but don't worry, they give you clue here. The article is about plastic waste. So in your mind, you have already uh, some idea about waste, waste of plastic, okay, I mean pollution. Okay, where, where does the plastic that we use every day go to? Okay, so now let us start with the exercise for question number 27. A plastic, let us read the text first. A plastic ocean is a film to make you think. Think and then act. We need to take action on our dependence on plastic. We've been producing plastic in huge quantities since 1940s. So drink bottles, shopping bags, toiletries and even clothes are made with plastic. What happens to all the rest? So blank 27. Okay, first tip is you can read the sentences before the gap and after the gap. Before the gap, it tells us about uh, drink bottles uh, and shopping bag and toiletries and even clothes are made of plastic. Okay, gap. And then what happens to all the rest? So what would be the best answer for this? Gap 27. Is it A? The prompts. This prompts them to travel around the world to look at other areas that have been affected. No, right? Not yet. Not this one. 
How about B? These are contrasted with scenes of polluted cities and dump full of plastic rubbish. Mm, no, right? It doesn't talk about plastic, uh, right? It doesn't talk about plastic. It is talk about uh, the different contrasted with scenes of polluted cities. Okay. Now, is it C? We live in a world full of plastic and only a small portion proportion is recycled okay is it d the results are disastrous but it isn't too late to change is it e but the film doesn't only present the negative side no much no and then f the the, the documentary premiere in 2016 in is now on streaming so no it doesn't talk about that can okay? and shopping bags G or H? Anyone? What is your guess? It talks about plastic. Here just now, kita ada banyak. We have a lot of plastic around us. Things are made of plastic. What happens to all the rest? So, is it? It's not A or B? No. Anybody? Have you tried this? Is it H? Is it H? No, we produce the hundreds of millions of tons of plastic every year. Not C. yet, actually. Yes? C. G. C. Yes. C is the answer. You're right. C is the answer. So, we live in a world full of plastic and only a small proportion is recycled. What happens to all the rest? C is the best. Okay, because it's talk about previously, previous sentence is talk about all sorts of plastic uh, use in our daily lives. Okay, well done. Okay, we have we have used C. Okay, now the film begins as a journey to film the largest animal on the planet, the blue whale. But during the journey, the filmmakers Craig Lesson and environmental activist Tanya Streeter make the shocking discovery of a huge thick layer of plastic floating in the middle of the ocean. In total, they oh sorry, in total they visited 20 locations around the world during the four years it took them to make the film. So you read before and after the sentences before and after the gap before it talks about journey the journey of making the film in total they visited 20 locations okay you need you can use this tip search for contextual clues about the making of the film 28 they talk about visiting 20 locations right a yes a is the answer well done uh, this prompts them to travel around the world to look at other areas that have been affected so that's make that why that's why they have visited 20 locations okay number 29 is it b in total visitor okay is it b is it d the, no i don't think so right is it f e? okay f Yes, you're right. Okay, the, the documentary premiered in 2016 and is now on streaming services such as Netflix. Okay, because the rest are not suitable. Right, okay, well done. So, F is the answer for number 29. Okay, we go to number 30. So, we already use C, A and also F. That leave us with uh, one two three four five more sentences okay 
it's very clear that a lot of research went into the film. There are beautiful shots of the seas and marine life. This is before sentence, beautiful shots of the marine life gap. We see how marine species are being killed by all the plastic we are dumping in the ocean. What is the underlying message here? Is it... D, is it H, D, E, or B? Anyone want to guess the answers? Anyone now? B. Sorry? B. B, yes, you guess it right, spot on. Okay, these are contrasted with scenes of polluted cities and dumb full of plastic rubbish. All right, okay. Again, this can be tricky, but if you can see here, uh, okay, a lot of research has been done. Okay, they, they've gone to research to the different shots that they can have of the seas and the marine life. So they are talking about scenes here. So these are contrasted with scenes of polluted cities and dump of plastic rubbish. They're looking for the best shots for the, the film, right? Okay, that's number 30. We go to number 31. So we have you see a f and b okay we have left four statements okay it starts the get start the text the paragraph here okay in the second half the filmmakers look at what we can do to re to reverse okay, to reverse the type of plastics flowing around the world so they present short-term and long-term solution what would be the answer here? Number 31. E. Sorry? E. E. Yes. Okay, you're right. E is the answer. Uh, but the film doesn't only present the negative side. In the second half, the filmmakers look at what we can do to reverse the type of plastic flowing around the world. So here is a contrasting idea, okay? Uh, it tells us that the film doesn't only present negative side. This is negative, but it also gives positive, positive, mm, uh, positive way how to reverse the type of plastic flowing around the world, okay? Okay, well done, good try. Okay, and then uh, for question 32, it's the final uh, paragraph here. We make a staggering amount of plastic in terms of plastic bags alone. We use 500 billion worldwide annually. Over 300 million tons of plastic are produced every year. And at least 8 million of those are dumped into the oceans. For number 32 gap, once you've seen a plastic ocean, you realize the time is now and we all have a role to play. So what would be best to fit into this gap? Remember, it's a closing uh, paragraph. So we have used A, C, B, F. We use E, so we are left with D, G, and H. What is your answer then? Guess, anyone? D? D. Yes, you're right. Okay, you're right. Okay, the results are disastrous, but isn't too late to change. Once you've seen a plastic ocean, you realize the time is now, and we all have to roll a role to play. Okay, so it's not, it's not too late. Everybody needs to uh, play a role to stop this from happening. So, 
after doing all these uh, reading and guessing the, the answers, so you understand now that it's all about plastic waste, how our world, how the environment is so polluted with plastic waste nowadays, and not only killing the animals, and eventually it could kill us, right? Okay? Okay, so these are the tips when selecting the best answer for gap text. What we did just now, uh, before and after the gap, you read the sentences and guess the best answer for it. Okay, and then when you see words like but or however, uh, in the beginning of a sentence, chances are the previous sentence should have a contradicting statement. This happens in question 31, okay, because of... Uh, the gap uh, answer start with but it talks uh, it, it is a, in a neg neg negative uh, statement so the following statement would be positive okay okay this is the other way around actually okay never mind then but i think you need to know that that when you see words like but or however Okay, at the beginning of a sentence, chances are the previous sentence could have a contradicting statement. Okay, so if the statement is neg negative, the second statement is negative, the previous statement should be positive. Okay, and the other way around. All right. Okay, that will practice. A lot of practice will help with you uh, with this. Okay. Number three, try to search a of keywords in the paragraph that could lead to the best answer to fill in the gap. Did we do that? Uh, yes, we do. We do that. Shorts, keywords there, yeah? scenes, right? Uh, and also visited 20 locations. Okay, visited 20 locations would be the keywords uh, which cause them to travel around the world. Done. All right. Well done. Okay. Uh, another tip would be for gap 32, candidates have to find a sentence suitable for a concluding paragraph. We did that in 32 just now. It's a concluding paragraph. So this is the uh, a sentence that concludes somehow or other the paragraph. And the rest, we, have, we are left with G and H which are not a concluding, uh, doesn't fit into the concluding paragraph, right? Okay. And do not tempt third to select the option which has the word example leaders just because the paragraph has the word leadership mentioned. Yes, uh, we don't have that in this sample, but sometimes when you see um, in, the, in the text, the word frequently you and in the sentence option sentence also you can see the same word for example leaders and leadership you tempted to guess that that's the answer but sometimes it's not sometimes yes but sometimes not so you have to be careful so you need to choose wisely all right okay well done uh we have reached one o'clock here and this is the last part this would be the last part of paragraph of your of, sorry of your paper one, part five, matching and information transfer. I might say this is the easiest part of all in the reading paper. Okay, so anybody wants to correct this just Maybe. now? Construction yeah. is B. Okay, for number thirty six is B. This is not. Because architecture again, okay. architecture would be how about A? Look at A. Architecture meaning the design of it, right? The large white dome. The architecture is A. Yes, yes. yes. Because it described the 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 design of the uh, the, the Taj Mahal. Okay, De decorated. Okay. Buildings are surrounded with gardens, so that is considered as architecture. So, so A is the answer, right? Okay, just now for construction, we choose B because of 
the word construction talks about how it is built. Okay, so there is a difference between architecture and construction, but somehow or rather it can be confusing, right? I myself got my, I myself confused just now. Okay, so sorry. So the answer is A. I can write. So the answer is A. Okay, then last part. Okay, complete the notes below using information from the text. Choose no more than one word from the passage for each answer. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Okay, you need to choose the word from the passage. Remember that? Okay, and fill in the blank with the correct answer. Okay. Not more than one word from the passage. Okay, for number 20, 37. Okay, Taj Mahal is surrounded by gardens with pathways pools and green gardens what else what else you can see at Taj Mahal pathway so we look at here we look here right we see garden pathways pool fountains and green gardens so what should be <clears throat> what would be suitable here anyone fountain fountain Yes, definitely. The clue is there, kan? It's so easy. So the answer is F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N-S. Remember to put <coughs> the word as exactly as it is, as you've seen it in the uh, text. It's fountain with an S because pathways are plural, pools are plural, fountains is also need to be plural too. Okay. So the materials for the Taj Mahal are not all from India but also from Asia and the main material is okay now we look at what is your answer? White marble. Oh yes white marble well done. I think you can see that in paragraph which paragraph is it? White marble. Here. Is it here? A? No. B? Where can, where can you find the word white marble just now? Um, at the B. 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 Okay, B. So, okay. So with materials, um, ah, this, this one, right? White marble. So, it's white, just white, sorry. So, insert... So it's white for this answer. How about number 39? Black. Uh, Shah wanted to build a... Black. Oh, opposite of it. Yes, black. Yes, that's the answer. Correct. Well done. Insert text. Black. Okay, then last one. The Indian government is trying to protect and answer. Hmm. Okay, that is uh well done. I think that is in the here. Eh? The word this word paragraph C. Conserve this word right. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, so we are at the end of paragraph. Paper one, okay. We have discussed all the uh, question one to forty, and for last tips for for part for part five, then you can. Uh, you need to find words or phrases that have similar meanings, and you need to know the word class. For example, just now fountains are nouns. White. Uh, adjective black is also adjective so it describe noun adjectives always describe noun so it comes before a noun so 
that would be your clue actually. It's an, an adjective. Okay. And then do not use capital letters for words in the middle of a sentence. Remember that. Do not write more than one word. Only choose information from the text. You cannot come up with your own word. And use British spelling instead of American spelling. Okay, you so just copy as it is. Okay, my channel and text too. Don't change it into American spelling. Okay, mm, so knock them out, genius. Good luck on your exam. That would be